and welcome to Business Class. The host of Business Class today is Mr. Satish Corpe of IAFPE Virginia Chapter. Mr. Corpe's on-screen business partner today is none other than Mr. Bharat Bhargav. Let's see these two business savvy gentlemen in their discussion and see if we can learn a thing or two. Good morning. Welcome to Capital Forum. I'm Satish Korpe from Indian American Forum for Political Education, Virginia. Our guest today is Mr. Bharat Bhargav. Uh, Mr. Bhargav is the chairman of Bank World Inc., a U.S. consulting company with its motto, striving for prosperity around the globe called a thought leader in the field of banking and private sector development by Booz Allen Hamilton. Mr. Bhargava has personally advised national governments, central banks, or directed such work by Bank World in nearly 80 countries uh, in Asia, former Soviet Union, Europe, Middle East, Latin America, and Africa. Uh, welcome, Mr. Bhargava, to Thank business class. Thank you very um, much, Mr. Korpe. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your life in India before you came to this country. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I grew up in Jaipur. Uh, my father uh, was a dean at the University of Rajasthan. And uh, when we were growing up, my mother was a member of Rajya Sabha for about 15 years. So, um, and we we're four brothers, one sister. So we <coughs> lived in Jaipur, and Jaipur is uh, calm and uh, and a very culturally supportive place. So we had opportunity to not only get fairly good education, it's a good school system there, and, but also get involved in cultural things. So it's a pretty fulfill, fulfilling uh, childhood. We have memories of Jaipur. Okay, what is Rajya Sabha? Is it something like Senate or House of uh, it, Representatives? Right, if you were to compare, uh, Rajya Sabha would be like Senate in the okay. U.S. And I think she was a chairman of the Senate? Also. She was vice chairman. Okay. What happens is uh, she was a member for 15 years, but uh, there is a rotation of yeah. certain people that may be select, elected as chairman. So for, yeah. I think, two, <coughs> two year terms, she was vice and chairman. Dr. Radhakrishnan was the uh, President. Uh, chair, chairman. Uh, how about your father? What was his expertise in? <laughs> My father, uh, uh, I, even though I did not follow along the way, but now I did. He was Dean of Commerce. He had established a commerce college. At that time, uh, management training was mm -hmm. almost not existent. So he was head of the Department of Commerce. Then he established a commerce college right. where promoted not only just commerce, but yeah. uh, uh, the management. And you live with your family here in Great Falls? Uh, my family, uh, right now in Great Falls, it's just my wife and I, but our children live very close by. Sure. So what prompted you to come to the United States? I have to say, at some point in my thinking, uh, I, I got passion to get MBA. And uh, so I applied to different uh, universities and so forth. In those days, you could not get foreign exchange for uh, uh, business administration. You could for engineering. So uh, uh, one university, I was teaching at, at, the, at a university in, in, in Rajasthan at the time. And so it's lucky that they said, uh, we don't have an MBA program, one of the universities, but we have our professor of sociology who has gone on sabbatical. Would you like to come teach? You can also take some <coughs> undergraduate MBA courses and then uh, then you can apply for MBA, and that mm. was my start. That was quite a success story to get in a top-notch university from India. I mean, top-notch university in the U.S. from India. So uh, uh, how was your career shaped after the education? Uh, uh, my first university would was still very good, but would not, was not top-notch itself. But then you, you're, I think, you're referring to the Harvard Business School. Uh, which I finished in 67. I came here 50 years ago, but in 67, I finished my MBA and uh, uh, career, uh, career uh, it, it has helped me in my career throughout. I, most of my career has been in banking. I was with, at a Fortune 500 in management for a few years, and then most of my career I have been in banking. And then um, uh, when senior President Bush uh, was elected, he, he had me join his administration at U.S. Department of Commerce. And, and my work 
was related because of my banking background. It was to promote entrepreneurship throughout USA. So my, the theme of uh, my work has stayed the same, even though f uh, from banking to, to government. Yeah. Uh, you also ran for an office uh, way back there in the 70s, I understand. Did you win? Yeah, I was. Uh, mm. I, 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 in 1977, mm. I, uh, at that time, I was president of Civic Association. So there was a little bit of groundswell for me to run for council. And so 1977, I did run, and it was uh, interesting at that time for to to have won in a public office. Uh, just a great experience. That was the beginning of your kind of uh, community service career in the U.S. Why uh, did you think it was necessary, or why is it necessary for anyone to get involved into community service? You know, even now, even then. Yeah, I think uh, now uh, and then it was the same thing. I think uh, one of the think we're lucky, I mean, people from India are lucky that a lot of our thinking is so common with American thinking, and so it's for easy, so easy to get integrated. So I, I felt from the beginning we are raising our children, and our children should be seen normally by others so, uh, and, and participate in everything. So uh, we said, let's do something to contribute to the community. And the reception was amazing, so we just continued to participate. And uh, and uh, then maybe I said a few things, and they decided that uh, I should run for council, and which I did. That's very interesting. That makes you a second person who ran and won for the office from the Indian American community. The first one being in the 1950s, Mr. Son, who was a congressman, and you were the second one. Not too many people know about this. So uh, one more thing, what is your work at Bank World? What do you actually do? Okay, so um, <laughs> what happened is, uh, uh, as I mentioned, I was with President Bush Sr. And then in November 2000, no, 1992, when we got kicked out by popular demand, uh, and so in November when the elections take place, uh, when we knew now we had lost, and January 20th is when we actually walk out of our offices. So between that, some World Bank people uh, talked to me. Former Soviet Union was breaking, breaking up, and because World Bank had more an, an economists, not as many people with banking. So to evaluate banking in Russia, I I went there for and led a team and. Uh, um, and then in Egypt also, I went to evaluate the banking, so forth. So I, I like that a lot. And I said, instead of returning to corporate uh, where responsibilities are a lot, but flexibility is less uh, to, 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 to get involved with international development work. And I have never looked back again because it's just so exciting. So and it's very satisfying uh, career for you. This is what you like to do. and. By helping yourself, you're also helping others in other countries also. I tell you, the knowledge is all from America, mm -hmm. but w the value of what we're taking to these other countries is enormous. I can, I, I, there's no time to tell you right now, but country after country, we have received such gratitude for something that we didn't create. Uh, we did apply properly, and our, our staff is former Federal Reserve or FDIC or SEC uh, our, our bank chairman, that is our, our staff. So they are very capable people, but fact is that uh, we took American knowledge and applied, and it has made a tremendous difference. Now, you read something about uh, promoting prosperity. Ultimately, people recognize that it is about poverty reduction. We, don't, we have decided not to say poverty reduction because Poverty reduction says just reduce the poverty to some degree. Although meaning is the same, we say let's aspire for prosperity for all. And I think let's set goals higher. And our work is not, we don't work with poor people. Uh, I would love to. But our work is creating enabling environment, meaning that the banking system, the capital markets, the government, the enabling environment should be more suitable. So for example, small businesses can get loans. And so we help, uh, one final point of that is, banks are very hesitant to make loans to small, medium-sized businesses. Our role, we have found a way 
because, because yeah. they think there's a lot of risk, not enough profit. So we have found a way that banks can do it profitably with reduced. So we train them, give them tools, uh, and also we train central banks to be able to be better regulators. Very good. Now, um, looking back to yesteryears, uh, would you have done anything differently, perhaps, uh, or you thought you were always on the right track? You know, uh, frankly, if I had to give one answer only, it was just the right thing to happen. Now, once in a while, I do see if I had gone back into banking financially and in other ways, perhaps it could have taken off because it started getting pretty filthy in terms of economic gains if you're mm -hmm. in continuing bank. But my role there was, it was just too much responsibility, no flexibility, very, very high achievement things, but no. Here, with my own business, I am able to follow my personal interests and have the joy of, uh, and I've been promoting entrepreneurship, so I decided I'll have my own company. So about 20 years ago, sure. I started my now How about mentoring younger generation, young people, or helping people in India and the Indian Americans? Any thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, when I was at Commerce, I had a tremendous opportunity to work with a lot of Indian American businesses. Uh, who, who either wanted to go into business or were already in business and is speaking at universities about careers and all. Lately, uh, uh, my work has not involved that, but I can tell you this would be the greatest satisfying thing. Now, in other countries, I do speak. Yeah, there uh, is no other joy than giving when you are capable and you're willing. These are the two ingredients of giving. Yeah. Some people are capable, but they don't have desire. Some people really like to do it, but they don't have the capability. So you are one of the fortunate people, Mr. Bhargav. Uh, let's see if you have any brief comment about what's right and what's not so right about Indian Americans in U.S. Just 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I I am very proud of uh, how Indian Americans have submerged into this society and how responsibility there. Uh, dealing with both social and professional uh, uh, in, in these two areas. Um, I would just say this, America is a wonderful com country and, and America is needed not just for people who are in America, America right. is needed for the world and anybody who's trying to pull down America, they're going to hurt the rest mm. of the world. So Let's we see, can, uh, we can yeah. Uh, we can make that our mission, that how we right. can continue to help maintain the strength of America. Mm -hmm. uh, briefly, what are your other interests in art, travel, and things like that? Well, I, I, you know, in I'm my work, I had had a lot of travel, 60-odd countries, and I have loved languages, so I've learned languages. So my interest is languages, music, uh, reading, um, I, I, and uh, so... Um, uh, Very good. Uh, uh, I think you are also a singer. I saw you singing sometime. But let me ask you, uh, if you have something to say to my viewers in 30 seconds, maybe 20, look in the camera and say your message. Well, my message is, first of all, I salute you and compliment you for what you're doing. Uh, I, I also encourage that please have total faith. And this is not a political statement. I don't have any more political activities have complete faith in what America is about, and therefore, despite everything that's going on, let us continue to put our shoulders behind uh, what is right, and where we see something is wrong, take it up as a cause to, to, to correct, and, and, and make America continue to be strong, not only just for us, for the entire world. Very good. Thank you very much for coming My on pleasure. Capital Forum, Mr. Bargo. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll see you again some other time. Well, thank you very much sure. for the opportunity. I enjoyed chatting with your audience, and best of luck.